and then eventually we started, you know, looking at the uh, the footage, and it was just, you know, it, it looks like remains. Mm -hmm. Today we're teaming up with a YouTube channel named Ryan Finds Truth to search a local lake to clear some spots that could potentially hold evidence to Summer Wells' disappearance. Summer Wells has been missing for three years now and the case has gone cold. With no leads and just rumors to go on, now the search is turning into just a needle in a haystack. We've teamed up with Ryan from the YouTube channel Ryan Finds Truth. He has some spots that he believes could hold evidence to Summer Wells' disappearance. We are already on the boat, so let's jump right into the video and get the day started. I feel like anybody that is going to be able to find it is going to have to do better. The cops pretty much went halfway, started halfway under and swam this way. They didn't even look at the other side. And uh, they only swam back and forth. And it, when I was watching them, I'm like, if they could just go to the bottom, kind of like what you described, mm -hmm. and slowly and carefully just examine the bottom. Because you saw how it was laid, it was right up against the side. It was like straight at the bottom sitting there. But I actually, I, st I, was st I stared at it forever. And I was at first I was like, well, maybe I see a bone. You know, because I wasn't looking deep into the picture. And then I sent it to him and he was looking really close and he's like, Oh! Yeah, once you see it. And then he pointed to yeah, me and he was, was like, like... I was looking at the wrong thing. I was like, that doesn't look like a bone. But then I saw like the shape of the body and like what appears to be a body. I mean, it, everything, the curves, it's a little more curvy than a rock yeah. around it. Uh, yeah. And you can't really unsee it once you see that no. picture. Yeah, after that you're like, oh. And I sent it to my wife and she immediately, she's like, yeah, I can see yeah. it. Yeah, for me oh. it was, and this, the skull that you can see, also because there's marine growth around the head or whatever, if that's what it is. Yeah. If it's a rock formation, it is the strangest rock it, formation I've ever seen. That, that's what so, I was thinking too. Well, you need so we're gonna go down and stick together. I can Are we gonna like start uh, on each end and go down? Yeah. Just kind of want to stay. Just stay with it. Mm -hmm. Still see you, each other. Like yeah, we can this, probably yeah. stick together. Should be awesome. Just do that. It's gonna be creepy, but like I don't think maybe we just start at the rocks and go down the cliff until we you know, get to the bottom and just kind of check the side, the corner first. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm thinking, I don't know, since we're on this ledge right here, have you looked over there yet? Just right here. I was like, because if a body came off right here, you think it'd be laying on this rock. So I mean, we could clear this and then just go that way. I mean, it drops down a lot right here. Yeah, that's why I figured it'd go straight down, so. You don't want to go straight down first? I mean, yeah, you saw, even you saw it when it was deep, it wasn't right here. It was pretty deep, yeah. Okay. We'll just slowly go straight down. All right, I'll just follow you, and then when we get to the bottom, I'll get beside you, and then we just start going that way. Okay. Just try not to. It doesn't seem like it's gonna it's stir up on the rocks. It's all mossy. It's not dirty. So. It's not bad. All right, I'll follow you.
Let's try that again. <laughs> yeah, we went the wrong way, and like next thing you know, we're 40 feet deep. I was like, geez. I was like, all right, we need to, I guess, like just drop down to maybe 10 feet, and then we'll just start crawling on the cliff. Drop down farther, keep crawling on the cliff. How long was your stand You said, yeah, how long was your pole when you was doing it, you think? Uh, about 12 feet, and then another couple feet. That's what I'm saying. If we're any deeper than 15 feet, we're in the wrong spot. I was drifting right along here. So if you stayed along there and went down, you'll see how it comes out at the bottom. But you'll have, I guess you'll have to hang on to the edge over there and just go down. So, so far I've seen a shovel and a barrel. <laughs> you see the barrel? Yeah. Yeah, I looked inside there, nothing in it. <laughs> You never know if they roll a barrel down here or something in it. All right. So I'd say watch your depth gauge. Any deeper than 20 feet, and we're, we're in the wrong spot.
still down there? Yeah, he's over there. <sighs> you, you hit the right spot. Like right we found the spot where the, uh, uh, you know, the sheet, the tarp, whatever? Yeah. We found that. It's right, this is it right here. Was it white? We didn't move it much. Was it white? It's got, it's got elements all over it. Are the rocks on it too still? No, it's just kind of laying there. And I went, I went deeper right where it was at. I didn't see anything. I found a shirt, but that could mean anything. I don't know what she went missing in, but. It was a white tank top. Yeah. Huh. I don't know. That's, it just looks like a. Looks like a white shirt. Yeah, short sleeve, not tank top. Oh, yeah. I think this is the spot where that sheet, where that blanket's at. Oh, 
Oh, shit. Whoa.
it's on. I did notice that the barrel's breaking apart. Yeah, so I don't know if it'll come up or not, but you tied it around it? I got it around it, but I don't as I was doing that, like it just it just started crumbling. I tried to look inside, I couldn't see anything, but I'll be surprised if this works. I, that dam is roaring underwater. And I'm just like, geez, that's terrifying. Oh, I heard it a little bit before when we got crazy. Oh, it's roaring now. Like it feels like I'm right next to it when you get down to the barrel. Yeah, I think it's empty. I'm just afraid that if anything was in it, it's gonna fall out, so I'm gonna check and make sure it has. Once I tied off that barrel and we brought it to the surface, as you can see, I jumped back into the water and clear it because I was afraid that it was gonna fall apart. After looking in it thoroughly, I came to the conclusion this is an empty barrel, which doesn't make any sense to me. I don't quite understand why somebody would throw a barrel off, but like you've seen, a lot of the barrel was rotted away. So it could have possibly been full of some kind of liquid, maybe some kind of petroleum waste. And it just leaked out over the years and just dissipated into the lake. And that's what made it look like it was empty. But I did do a thorough check around the barrel once I realized it was rotted out to see if there were any bones or any remains laying around at the bottom of the lake. And I did not see any. And when we brought it up to the boat, I searched it again to make sure there was nothing inside. And I, I spent a lot of time really, really looking into it. So I want you guys to believe me when I say I was very diligent and very thorough on searching that barrel to make sure this was not Summer Wells. Now, I am not convinced that that cliffside is clear where we found the barrel. So we are going to be going back to this location and we're going to be spending a lot of time in this lake. This lake is deep and it has it has lots of places where you could hide stuff. And there are a lot of missing people in Tennessee around this area. So not only are we searching for summer wells, so we're searching for any evidence that could be linked to any of the missing people, such as Sebastian Rogers, Layla, any of the other missing people around that area. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we definitely do not want to find a body. You know, we would love to think that Summer Wells is still out there somewhere surviving. Uh, Sebastian Rogers surviving. Layla, everybody else missing. We, w we, we wish they would be alive. No joke. We never want to go out searching and, and hope we find a body. We, we would love to not find anything. And then eventually the missing person comes home. Sadly, that's just not how these things go as time goes on. So we're going to keep searching. We're going to keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully we can bring some answers to everybody to Summer Wells disappearance and all the other Tennessee missing people. So keep that motivation going and make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Jeremy. I will see you guys on that next video.